protect social media safety. According to pediatrics, 15% of youth reported unwanted sexual solicitation online in the last year. 4% reported incidents on social network sites specifically. The internet is a popular place and can be useful, but when it comes to safety, are we really taking all precautions to our children? Victims fall into scams on the internet every day, but the ones who are at risk are young adolescents. Children are often trusting and misled very easily. They can fall into dangerous trends around the internet and even harmful online predators. Reported from Northwestern University Center for Technology and Social Behavior, a quote from Dateline NBC to catch a predator quotes, law enforcement officials are estimating that 50,000 predators are online at any given moment. I'm going to share with you some statistics and some true life examples of what can happen. According to Pew Internet and American Life Project, a survey conducted by more than half of all American youths online ages 12 to 17 use online social network sites such as MySpace or Facebook. Online predators can lurk on any social media websites. One way online predators victimize is through sextortion. Sextortion is a type of online sexual exploitation that according to the FBI, it can happen typically from the ages of 10 to 17. Predators coerce victims into providing sexual explicit images or videos of themselves, often in compliance with offenders, and they threaten to show them to their friends and family. So here's um, my first Here's my first story. This is Ashley Reynolds. Um, she was a victim of sextortion. Ashley Reynolds was a typical 14-year-old girl. She never thought she would become a victim. She became a victim in 2009. Um, her parents were stressed to her about the internet and safety. Um, she just really didn't pay attention. Uh, one day she got an email or a message on MySpace and it was from a stranger. Um, he threatened her that he had pictures of her um, and that he would make it pictures of her and if she wasn't to do what he said that she would or he would put her pictures all over and ruin her reputation. Um, she was scared so she did whatever she wanted. She eventually just felt like a slave. She sent him messages every day. She did what he wanted. Um, it wasn't until her mom actually found one of the messages and reported it to the police. Um, Lucas Michael Chancellor is the guy who victimized her. He has victimized almost 350 teenage girls over a several, several year period. Um, he would use different online screen <coughs> names such as um, he would use online screen names on websites such as AIM or MySpace and Sikkim. He would fool victims into thinking that he was a 15-year-old boy. Another dangerous thing that children can get drawn into is different trends. We all have tried a popular trend or thing to be cool to fit in. Trends can be broadcasted all over the web. Some are dangerous, such as the choking game. This is the second story that I used. It's okay. It's okay. Um, so this is Alfie Hyatt. He was 10 years old when he died. His mother found him hung. Um, they think that he lost his life to the choking game. The game was known as a good boys game because it didn't involve any harmful drugs or alcohol. 
The game involves cutting off oxygen to the brain with the goal of inducing a temporary high, usually by strangulation. Um, the report said that Alfie died from a rare condition, vagal inhibition. This condition causes the heart to stop and can cause, um, be caused by pressure on the neck. My boy was gorgeous. He had no knowledge of what he was doing. This stupid game is death. It has broken our world, Luis, his mother said. Luis, to this day, continues to try to bring awareness to the dangers and trends, such as this going around on YouTube and social media. Sextortion and falling into trends are a couple bad things found on the internet, but even far worse that can happen is abduction. According to National Criminal Justice Reference Service, more than half of reported children abductions were committed by a stranger. <coughs> Here is Alicia Kozakowicz. She was 13 when she was victimized. She met a man online. Um, she had talked to him for over eight months, thought he was a teenager just like her. Um, she then agreed to meet up with him, and he kidnapped her. So, a little bit about that. I'm going to show you a video of her speaking out about what happened to her. Um, it just kind of shows her captor and what he put her through. You have to exit full screen mode to do it. So press escape and then see the little volume guy in the corner. Take preventative measures now before it's too 